Hi everyone, it's Karen Cole from League of Minded Friends and today's video is for those of you who are independent domestic violence advisors or independent sexual violence advisors in the family courts. And I'll refer to both of you as IDVAs for the ease of communication because it's a bit of a tongue twister to say IDVAs and ISVAs as the guidance is for both and I will use them interchangeably. So let's get started. In April 2023, Sir Andrew McFarlane, that's the president of the Family Court Division, has uh, provided practice guidance for those working in the areas that I mentioned. Um, it is uh, a PDF, so if you require a copy, please email me and I'll be happy to send you an electronic uh, one free. So today I'm just going to give you a couple of the highlights uh, of what you can and cannot do. It is guidance, it's not a practice direction, and it came into force in light of the new rules and practice directions that came into force on the 6th of April 2023, relating to attendance at any court hearings of IDVAs who provide support and advice and help to litigants um, at all levels of the family court. So you can continue providing uh, support and help and advice, but you are not a legal representative or a McKenzie friend. Uh, so you can't act as an advocate or an agent, nor can you carry out the conduct of litigation. What you can provide is practical, emotional and moral support. Engage with court processes, including out of court discussions, though the court retains the power to refuse to permit attendance at a hearing and may do so when it is uh, satisfied that it's not in the best interest of justice for the ISVA to be present or continue to be present at the hearing. An example of this could be uh, that there's a close connection or that the um, IDVA doesn't understand the duty of confidentiality. A party to the case could object to the presence of an IDVA being in the court and uh, though they'll have to explain their reasons uh, why clearly to the court as to why they're objecting. As mentioned, this is just a brief overview. If you'd like to discuss the guidance more, please contact me at Legal Mind of Friends. My, all my contact details are in the description area below. Um, information is power, so please like and share this as you never know who you could help. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe free and I'll see you in the next video. Well, I hope you found today's video interesting and why not subscribe and watch more of our videos. If you need legal help, contact Legal Minded Friends.